Oh. I can taste blood. Oh. This is bad. This is bad. How's it going guys? So, it's been a while, I know it has, and, and I can feel it. Oh, it must be about four or five weeks really that since I've done like a proper run, or even just gone out and done some training. <clears throat> it's been absolutely snowed under with work. We open, or my main business opens in uh, just under a week. Um, five days I think it is. For, so uh, just busy, windy, just busy getting that ready. Um, it's been a slog, it really has been a slog. And, uh, and I'm definitely feeling it now. But anyway, the good news is I've got myself a coach. I've got myself a running coach, two main things. One is I am plagued with injury. Knees sore, my ankles are sore before every race, before every event. I'm just battling injuries. So I've got a coach to help with that. And the other thing is accountability, which is one of the most powerful forces in the world, is that transparency and accountability. He's watching my watch, ah, which is low battery. That might help me out um, every time I do a session. So today I'm doing some drills that he's uh, asked me to do. I know it's a bit windy, but I thought a video is better than no video, just like a run is better than no run. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on with my little drill and then I'm gonna update you as we go along. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, straight away, so let me talk to you about my coach. Um, his name's Sai. I did the ice ultra with him in the Arctic. He won the race and uh, I've done a couple of events with him actually. I was out in Peru, did the jungle ultra with him. He was on the same marathon de sables as me. I didn't really know him that much then. <clears throat> and he started a little running coaching business. So I'm helping him with a little bit of marketing and advice business wise. And in exchange, he's helping me out with, uh, with a bit of coaching. So I did some video of my strides, how I ran, and straight away it was obvious what the cause was of my bad knee, my bad Achilles, and all the problems that I've had. So we're coming down, and you can see how that ankle then has to stabilise. See that? I'm going to just move it backwards and forwards. So every time both your left foot and your right foot are landing, thing is, I don't actually know how many I've done. I've got to come up with some way of counting how many reps I do because I lost track. I don't know how many I've done. So what I'm going to do is that age old thing where I'll pick up a stone, I'll put it on top of a fence post. When I've got 10 stones, I know I've done 10 times. And that's what I'll do. Should have done it this time. Um, so let's crack on. I'm going to run home. It's about a mile, mile and a half. Uh, and I'll probably carry this on as we go further along the route. So I don't normally run on tarmac, but uh, I am tonight because whew, I need to be really conscious of my foot placement. This is what we've identified as being one of the main problems is that I'm under pronating. I've got just loads of pronation stuff going on. And this could well be the cause of a lot of the injuries, a lot of the problems I've got. Um, just because I'm losing a lot of the natural uh, 
absorption of, of impact just by the way that I place my feet. So what I'm concentrating on tonight is trying to land with a much flatter foot, with like three points of contact on my feet, just slightly behind the big toe, just behind the pinky toe, and then towards the back of the foot, almost the heel, but not striking with the heel. It's odd, it feels odd, I feel clunky. Part of that is because it's a new running style, and I've got to kind of work into it easily, uh, slowly, but also, because I seem to have developed, look at that, fatty. I seem to have developed about five kilos of extra padding around the waist. Perfect if you're a bear and you're getting ready for hibernation. But when you're getting back into your running, it's not ideal. So what another one of my aims over the next couple of weeks or whatever is to get that down and to get light, because that's going to help prevent injuries as well. Whew. I've never ever seen this footpath before. It goes all the way down there, down there. All right, I know it's not a footpath, but uh, you know, it's obviously like a fire break or something like that, but I want to use it. I really did not want to come out tonight. Today, we spent most of the day in Ikea. Felt like doing an ultra in the car park of Ikea because the queue was so big. And, and I just don't like shopping either. Hate shopping. So last thing I wanted to do was, was to come out and run tonight. But I've got to say, now I'm out. Now I'm out in the fresh air and these amazing surroundings. Sounds a bit corny and cliche because every runner says it. I just don't regret this run. I think it's the start of, of cracking on, getting back into the stride. Now that the world's starting to calm down a bit, getting back into, uh, get the business running and all that. And uh, I've, got some, I've got some great challenges coming up. Uh, one of them is gonna be an absolute scream. And obviously I'll take you guys with me for that ride. Whew. Right, let's carry on because these freaking burn lungs are burning. I just stopped here because a couple of magpies kicking off. It sounds eerie, like prehistoric. Um, some other news. I've got a new GoPro. Do the one still in the bottom of the river, just over there, where I lost it. My wife kicked, bloody tipped us out of the canoe. Um, lost my phone, lost my brand new GoPro Max, but not a bad thing. I've dropped down to the GoPro Hero 8, which is what I'm filming this on. I like it, it's much lighter, it's a bit more basic. I don't have to worry about the, the 360 thing, which I'm sure is amazing, but really, when am I gonna use it? And when I did the first video with the GoPro Max, I filmed so much of it in like 360 and I was, I just deleted it because I didn't know what it was. It was obviously just a different file type and I was like, ah, where's all my footage gone? So, uh, so this is a bit more basic, but I think it's got great stabilization. I know uh, running with Mark out in Finland uses a GoPro Hero 8 when he's doing his little vlogs and he's out running. His footage looks great. So I can get half the quality that he gets. Check him out by the way, then that'll do for me. That'll do for me. Right, let's get going. Too much talking, not enough running. It's a great excuse though. Right, I'm gonna head back and uh, might catch you when you're back there. See you in a bit. Guys, sorry, but I'm gonna have a little bit of a rant because the only people listening. So basically, where I am now, this is the bottom of our little bit of land, okay? And uh, lockdown's been amazing. It's been amazing for people getting out, getting fit, starting cycling. I know that you just cannot get bikes at the minute because they're all sold out. However, don't, don't trash people's fences. You know what I mean? This has been cut. Like someone's come along with some wire cutters here. I don't know if you can see that. 
and they've snipped it and just cut this and they made this little path, which, you know, just annoying. The only people that's going to fix it are the bloody landowners and the custodians of the land. It just winds me up, you know? So, don't let it do it. There's like an unwritten rule in the countryside, right? Leave nothing but footprints and take nothing but memories. I won't go damaging stuff, just so you can get your bike in a bit easier. Right, I love this little stretch, I've probably shown you before. Let me spin you around. Here we go. Right, last little, last little bit of talking. Basically, how's it gone? Well, not too bad. Do you know, I shot my stride. I was trying to turn my feet over a bit more, working on that landing flat, the three-point landing, the tripod landing on the feet. And uh, I've not looked at my timers yet, but although it felt awkward at first, it started to settle down. And I've definitely, I haven't got the burning sensation that I usually get in my Achilles. And as well as that, it felt quick. It's weird, I think, when you do like advanced driving, they say that smooth is fast and fast is smooth, and, and I definitely felt smooth. Now whether that translates to speed across the ground, I don't know, I don't know yet. Um, find out when I have a look at the data and stuff when I get back home. And, uh, but for me, my big win is just getting out again after weeks of not doing anything caught up with so many other priorities and stuff it's just great to get out it's brilliant to get out with the camera and start filming stuff like this again uh, i pledge i really do pledge for myself as well as you to do more of these videos because i know some people enjoy it you know i've had comments from people like really enjoy it helps chill me out helps inspire me whatever and, uh, and that's kind of why i'm doing it so all i ask now two things one if you like the video like it Subscribe to the channel to get more updates like this. I haven't quite tied down my routine yet of when I post, so I'll post whenever I can and you don't want to miss the video, so make sure you subscribe. The second thing is, have a great day. Because great days make great lives, and that's what we all want, okay? Just a little bit of local trivia for you. The little caravan over there, the green caravan. Four weeks ago during lockdown, a guy was murdered there, all right? They've been fighting on that site for a long time. And it come to a head, one guy, premeditated, stabbed the other guy with a, a vicious attack with a screwdriver. The guy was, they were both in the 70s. And, and then he ran off and hung himself. So a murder, suicide, on my doorstep. But, it kind of makes me realize that, you know, life, life is short. So many things going on that, you know, what a way to kind of go out, surrounded by fear and, and anger. It's just not a great way to go out. You're only going out, full of joy and full of happiness of everything that you've achieved in life. So, I don't know, I got a bit deep. Anyway, see you in the next video. Take care. Ah, I don't know why I do that, but I do. Let's go. Let's go.